Hi guys, welcome back to Mum's Eye View. It's Michaela from Miss Budget Beauty again, and I have some bits and pieces to show you for back to school. So I did a bit of a supermarket sweep style dash around Asda with my nine year old, nearly ten year old daughter, and she picked up some bits and pieces that she thought were a little bit interesting and exciting for school, as well as the stuff that she actually needed, like actual school wear. Uh, so I'm going to go through that with you, as well as some bits and pieces that we picked up for her brother, who is three and is absolutely killing me. He'll be four in November. He's going to half day nursery in September and he has to wear a school uniform. Proper little school uniform. He's going to like a school nursery, the same school as Ella goes to and it's going to be so cute but I'm just dying over it. At the moment I, I think it's cute because I'm going through the clothes and I'm like oh it's sending him off to school but when I go I'm just going to have like palpitations. I remember sending Ella and she was completely fine and she was a year older than him because uh, she went just straight away to full-time school. But because he's kind of taking this baby step, I'm just... Any any suggestions of how to deal with that, please leave a comment and tell me because I don't even know how I'm getting... He's my baby and you know mums with their boys and stuff. Uh, and Ella was so much more... I mean, he's really independent, but I just feel like I wasn't as, as nervous with him. So yeah, any suggestions, welcome. But let's get into the haul. For Ella, I kept it pretty simple. Um, she is a little bit picky, so I got her just plain tops and I managed to get kind of scalloped edge collar to differentiate, I mean obviously they're going to be bigger, but differentiate between hers and her brothers. Um, and these were pretty cool as well, like proper plain style skater skirts. I get the jersey ones because they don't need ironing. Um, and that is 100% of the reason that I buy them, but I thought this was quite a nice style and a little bit more grown up than um, some of the more fitted ones as well, and they didn't have any embroidery on it and all that stuff. Um, and the cardigan that she picked was like this, just a plain one with some little bows on the pockets, which is quite sweet. Every time I talk about school wear for my son with my mum, she tells me I need seven of everything and that boys will be filthy straight away. Um, now my daughter's not the cleanest child, so I don't know <laughs> about that, but she's convinced me, so I'm steadily collecting as many different bits and pieces as I can, and this is what I got um, from Asda this time. I got something a little bit different to the last bits we picked up. Um, they're actually slim fit trousers, they look like this. How cute is this? Teeny little trousers, I don't even know where they begin. Oh, tiny little boys trousers! They are so cute, and they're in a kind of dark grey. Difficult as that is to see on camera. And then just some plain jumpers, which I'm hoping you'll wear. They feel so soft, I would totally wear this in my size. Um, just kind of plain sweatshirts. And um, then I got him the kind of plain version of the, the shirts that I got for Ella. The school shoes is where this gets a little bit exciting. I've been trying to find some school shoes for him that I thought he would wear. These are Star Wars school shoes. I don't know if they're technically school shoes. But they look like school shoes, right? They're not trainers. I suppose they are a little bit trainery. Hoping he'll get away with them. They were in the school shoes section. So, you know, if they argue with me, I'll be like, well, as to say they're school shoes, guys, is the thing. And they look like school shoes, kind of. But they have tiny little, and it's really understated, but tiny little Darth Vader in Star Wars little bits and pieces here and then on the tongue it also says Star Wars. Not that you'll be able to see that but it does say it there. So he's a little bit more excited about wearing school shoes now they're Star Wars school shoes. This is always the thing that my daughter gets most excited about. Um, I mean she likes her stationery and stuff but I think I'm more excited about that than her. It's lunch boxes. I'm surprised at what she picked. So she picked her plain stuff and I thought to, to throw in a little bit of difference, I picked some funkier stuff for Milo um, to show you kind of what else is available. Because she picked stuff like adult stuff, which I would pick. Um, she picked this, which was just a cool bag, to put this in. <laughs> this is really cool. I mean, you know, I just wouldn't have expected her to pick it. Um, and if your child will have something like this, this is really, really useful. Because, I mean, it's, what is it called? It's a Systema, Systema, Systema? Lunch triple split, so that it's got three sections and one of them is a little pot, so you could put anything in there. Something that might be spillable. Anytime I give her any kind of yogurt thing, it manages to get all over her lunchbox. And so this would be way better for that. Um, so yeah, I think, I feel like I'm putting this in wrong. Uh, but yeah, she picked that to go inside this and it actually matches perfectly. I don't know if that's intentional. They are both the same brand, but she picked a red one of those and a blue one of this. And it fits perfectly, so well done Ella on a mature life decision. Uh, she also picked this, which was kind of a genius idea. It's a sandwich box, but an actual sandwich box, because they're, they're called sandwich boxes. But my husband takes huge big things to work with him um, and just puts one sandwich rattling around in it. This is an actual sandwich box, like a box just for one sandwich. I've never seen anything like this. 
this is an amazing idea. The drinks bottle again, she picked a Sistema, Sistema, however we're saying that, uh, twist and sip, which looks like this, it goes like this. Very grown up decisions from my almost 10 year old. Um, and then I got a little cute one for Milo, just not to leave him out. Um, a drinks bottle and a minion one. He's obsessed with minions right now. We went to get the Kevin minion today and he's like gone to sleep with it and he's really excited about it. Um, but I thought that was really cute and it's got this bag belongs to. Um, that's sweet. And this is one of those where it like keeps it closed and then it opens it up. So really easy for like little people to use. And lastly, let's get into what I think is the most exciting part, the stationery. Um, I'll go through the stuff that Ella picked out. I mean, she picked it all. Um, she likes things like this. I don't know about your kind of almost 10 year olds, but she loves stuff like this, like little goofy things. This is, I think they're both pencil sharpeners. Why she needed two pencil sharpeners, I don't know. Uh, one of them is a die. Or is it a die? I want to say it's a die. Single die. That's actually kind of cool. That would look really cool on your desk. Um, and then the other one's really plain, but it's that minty colour that she's all about right now. She wants a bedroom, all of this colour. So these are the pencil sharpness that she got. Um, then she got some pens. These are really cool. They look like, I feel like that's my, my phrase of the video. These are really cool. But they are. I feel young again going through these things. Um, extra large, lead, less breakage, triangular barrel, so it's ergonomic. These are pet. no they're not pens. They're not pens. She told me they were pens. They're pencils. They're kind of, I think they're click up pencils maybe? They're definitely not, they're mechanical pencils, yeah. Um, but they, she thought they were pens, they're not. She's gonna be super disappointed now, I think. Um, I don't know if the end of it is actually a rubber or not, probably not. But it's a mechanical pencil, but it looks like an old school pencil with a rubber on the end. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then these, I totally picked up myself. A set of four jelly highlighters. Takes me back a little bit. Kind of want to colour in my hair with these things. Um, they look really sweet. Um, she picked up this silicone notebook, which looks like Lego. There were loads of these. I could have gone to town in this whole section. They had loads of things that were like this, and it's got kind of like a little lock on it. And this pencil case that's all kind of different colours. This is from Fashion Stationery. And then lastly, what I picked up, because it goes totally with the bedding that I've bought her for our new house, this. And it's got that minty colour on that she loves. I don't know why she didn't pick this up herself. If she doesn't use it, I'm totally going to use it. I love stationery. I could do this all day. I loved going back to school. I don't know about you, but I was all about it. Stationery and new stuff, amazing. So that's the back to school stuff that we picked up on our Mad Dash around Asda. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the rest of the videos on this channel and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.